Hey guys, All In Crypto here and welcome back ladies and gentlemen for another YouTube video. Hopefully you've all had a triumphant Tuesday so far. This is going to be our daily cryptocurrency market update and we're going to be discussing maybe some of my plans for Bitcoin, what I think may or may not take place over the coming weeks, over the coming days. I'm looking at potentially some short-term trade setups. We're also going to go over the news that's taking place at the moment. Uh, we made a video yesterday that's well worth a watch. Now, I know some of you only tune in to my uh, daily cryptocurrency market updates. However, in yesterday's video that we released in the evening, we spoke about the unemployment rate um, overlaid onto the stock market. So I just want to go over this very quickly for anybody that missed it because it's important and really is one damn good reason to remain bearish on the markets across the board um, and not flip bullish just because we've had some sort of a capitulation event in the crypto space. You know, we haven't yet seen, I don't think, the full forces of this recession, if not depression, um, that we are now in. And yes, we are seeing a lower CPI print, which has caused markets to reshuffle. We lost about 50 basis points worth of interest rate hikes for the US. So people are now looking to re allocate that future capital um, to these um, different asset classes, if you will. So very quickly, guys, and then we'll get into the video. I just really want to reiterate this because it's super important. This is the unemployment rate. This, of course, is in the US. This spike here was, of course, March 2020. Uh, and I just want to overlay the S&P. And I want to show you the correlation here because when unemployment is at a low, typically the stock market is at a high. So the last low we had for unemployment was just before the March 2020 sell-off. And then, of course, when you get unemployment at a high, usually it means the stock market is at a low, ladies and gentlemen. And we can look at 2008, unemployment at a low. We're at lower unemployment levels today than we were in 2008, by the way, to put things in context. Market generally at a high. And then as unemployment starts to tick up, we then see um, uh, the, the, the sort of markets. Really, unemployment reflects the economy broadly. Um, actually take a dive. And when unemployment is at a high, the market then starts to recover. It's not a perfect example, um, but you can see, you know, the dot-com boom. This is the last time unemployment was at a low, obviously following 2008. Markets were pretty much perfectly at a high. And then when we saw unemployment rise, obviously markets dipped. And I'm here to argue that if markets were to go on and rally from here, we'd need to see, we're already at a low point for unemployment, we need to see unemployment actually continue to go lower when it's at a historical low. And with all the news that we're getting yesterday reported that Amazon employees uh, or Amazon is set to release about um, 10,000 employees. It's not a massive amount of Amazon's employees, but it's more the broad effect of layoffs like other companies doing it. FTX collapse could see crypto sector layoff accelerate. I think we're going to see layoffs across the board. And this is why this chart is so important, because if we do see that, you know, yes, we know that the, the interesting thing about where we currently are, and you can see the stock market um, or, or unemployment is at a low really still now and we're where we are. I would argue if this ticks up, this is going to go lower. This is going to have contagion and, 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 and spill into the crypto space. So it's important to keep an eye on this, guys. Just something that I think is useful for you guys to watch as investors so that you can kind of monitor where potentially we are in the unemployment cycle and so on and so forth. Let's get into Bitcoin, guys. Um, we're seeing a huge surge in self-custody, which I think is a good thing. You know, there's always a silver lining in every kind of event. We know what caused the recent capitulation. I think there are a lot of people that will take this as a long um, just simply because of this setup here, which is a double bottom. I think a lot of people will take that and get net long. Um, hoping for some sort of a further retracement of this move. Now, it is very risky, in my opinion, to do that. Um, but I will say that there are definitely setups for a long here. In fact, almost more so than a short. The short element comes really in the fact that we don't know what the fallout of all this is going to be. So we know that FTX, for example, had uh, 1 million creditors. So 1 million people would have essentially lend FTX or lent FTX money. We don't know what the fallout of that is going to be. Uh, and this pattern here, this kind of double bottom, um, is actually one of my favorites for longing. Now, we're not taking longs on the sort of daily or four hourly. We're more just trying to scalp the market at the moment. Um, but I definitely think people will take this and potentially try and run it and try and run it somewhere you know, towards here. Certainly whilst, if you look at the macro conditions, which we're not, yesterday or last week, sorry, we had a very um, 
disconjointed separate week and that was because we had our own internal issues crypto should have been absolutely going you know we should have been realistically if we didn't have this spill i reckon at around about 24 25k because we saw the dixie collapse right literally collapse and the, the dixie right now is a dead fish still think it's going to reassert i think the reason it reasserts is for internal reasons um the fx market is what i'm really by internal reasons i mean what's going on in the fx market but the Dixie collapse, this provided a good shelter for the stock market. Again, why was this? Because of the CPI print. People are now looking to reallocate capital because they know that there's going to be more capital available as we're going to have a lower interest rate high into the future. Remember, interest rates or sorry, uh, markets are always forward looking. So we've seen this rally, but crypto didn't appreciate because it, it has own things going on. But today we've got the UK market up, we've got gold up, we've got the dollar continuing to get smashed and actually going on to put in new lows. We've got the U uh, US futures market, which is up. I think that provides a good um, scenario for today, at least for, you know, some continuation uh, to the upside. That That's essentially what we'll look for and we'll play altcoins accordingly. Um, because there's no reason I don't think, you know, you, you, you've got to ask yourself, what's the next sell pressure here? What, what, who's, who's going to short at this level? What people will do, and I'll have to get rid of those um, lines that I draw. Everyone, I don't know where everyone became a range trader from. Um, but what people will essentially do is they'll chop this up and try and trade it. Yeah, so they'll look for sort of key levels. And they'll basically go level to level. And what they'll do is they'll wait for some sort of a break of here to get short. They won't short in this kind of area here. Most big traders won't short here. They might take a short on this potentially being a double bottom for some sort of a scalp. But they won't short in kind of a no man's land, if you will. So they'll wait for some sort of confirmation to get aggressively short. I think that comes. I think it comes in the form of contagion. But I think whilst we've got this kind of backdrop of potentially a positive market conditions with the dollar being down and futures being up and gold being up you know there is the scope in my opinion for bitcoin to make some sort of a, a hurrah to the upside maybe come to these levels here 17k and then potentially work its way back to 18k do something like this before you know turning this into some sort of a double top before we get that um, further continuation of the downside it's absolutely my opinion which is why we're not buying and we showed you that unemployment chart to you know, really kick things off. Okay, today we're seeing a bit of a sort of potential good market day. But it's my opinion that, um, and bear in mind, this doesn't have to happen. Anything could happen in the form of, you know, some sort of event taking place today. But it's my opinion that this, this capitulation will lead to continuation. I think a direction has been set, ladies and gentlemen. And I think you are now outside of this range this previous range here, this previous period, this previous period of consolidation, and I don't think you consolidate for 140 days, only to have a 15 20% sell off. I think I think you know that, that there's probably significantly more coming. Some positives are that the capitulation if this was it are now getting smaller. Um, but for me, I you know, I, I think that you're essentially in some sort of a period like you did over here, where you're just kind of going to consolidate for a bit stall, and then you're going to roll. And um, which is why I think it's it's pretty dangerous to take along, you know, you can see you come down, consolidate you consolidate i think there's still sort of more downside to come from this if you will i think you're just at a sort of um a step before you then get that continuation to the downside you know when do we flip bullish well we'd flip bullish if we came back and retrace this move so if we did something like this and came all the way back okay then you can have confluence that you know that, that there's a lot of strength in this market and that the whole ftx damage has been somewhat undone in terms of price action um but we're not there yet and we've got a long way to go so you know i wouldn't not go for a long today um i'm just saying if you're going along be very careful and have your stops but i think you do have the macro backdrop with the dollar being down futures being up and uh gold being up uh, uk markets up asia markets up it's an up day generally um <clears throat> that being said though make sure you have your stops i think people will take this and they'll try and basically ride it up to you know where you really started consolidating i think um but we will see and remember that there are so many catalysts around the corner that does not mean that we're bullish from sort of a mid by short term i mean a matter of days mid being weeks to, to months and then uh, a longer time frame being months we're still pretty darn bearish this is just one reason one thing that we look at we think unemployment's going to uh, tick up 
We think that means markets generally are going to come down. Um, we do not envision a soft landing. I think that with the amount of debt that we've got, okay, we've seen capitulation in the crypto market. We've seen a bit of a rough time for the stock market. But I think that there's a broader market that, you know, the Fed are championing to not break. And I think that's the debt markets. And I believe the debt markets will break. And I think that when I talk to people, when I talk to them about their mortgages, when I talk to them about, you know, general things, bills, et cetera, et cetera, they're feeling the effects now. And most of them haven't even gone on to a variable rate or most of them haven't, you know, really had to feel the full force of these interest rate hikes, which, you know, are going to lead to a slowing down um, across the board. Uh, and that's why we remain bearish for now the time to be bullish will come but we're not in the um business of catching falling knives really we want to set ourselves up for generational wealth through um picking our time to invest appropriately um that's all i've got for you in this video guys it was just a bit of a short and sweet one a quick update i'm gonna love to leave you on that note if you've enjoyed the content like is always appreciated so as a comment and look forward to seeing each and every one of you in the next youtube video thanks a lot for watching ladies and gents